Hello folks and welcome back to part 14 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. I'm Kev and if you are enjoying the series so far, please make sure you leave a like on the video. I've got to start remembering to ask you to do that. I've remembered today, so you know, leave a like please, because I remembered to ask you to do it. Now I don't know about you folks, but I am fed up of having to walk around this world like someone who's not king of the world. That ends today. Obviously, we have a horse, so we don't actually have to walk everywhere. But today is the day for the long-awaited transit system, the, the monorail, the train, whatever you want to call it. We are going to set up a way to easily get from my house here to the trading village over there. So I actually start going there a little bit more often. And also over to, can you see it? Or are these trees in the way? You can just about see. We've got our nether portal, and then underneath that is the mine. We do need to smarten up that mining area so it's clear that's the mining area at some point too but but today the goal is we want a train station over here with a line that goes off that way and a line that goes off that way now i know both of these places are so close that we can see them and we can walk there if we really really had to uh, you know I, it, trains are fun and i want trains and i'm thinking we might pop a station on this little area here where we've got this this is where the, the lava pit was. It's where we got our obsidian from. We've filled it in. Um, I've not leveled it off fully. I don't think I am going to level it off, but I'm thinking if we have like a raised platform here as like a station that can then have multiple lines coming off it, we'll put two of the lines in today to go there and there. But if we have room for four, five, six lines, um, it means we've then got the option to go off to different places as we build them. I'm thinking we're probably going to build out over that way with some of our bigger builds, like an iron farm, an XP farm, that kind of thing. Um, so I want room for multiple lines. We'll stick at least one line in today. We're definitely going to put the two in eventually. I need to sleep. Um, and I want it to be a platform raised up above the ground so that it doesn't get absolutely covered in all of the mobs that spawn out there every evening uh, because that field at night time because it's not at all lit up and it's just a big open area is always absolutely littered with mobs which is why i'm always so eager to get back to bed because if i get back here even a moment too late once the mobs have spawned this entire area is so covered in them that i can't ever sleep because there's too many mobs nearby even though they cut out oh, there you go there are monsters nearby we left it too late the monsters are out. I can't even see where they are. Where on earth are the mobs? The area is usually absolutely covered in and there must be some underground nearby maybe. Or up on the roof, I guess. Why? 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 Let's just try moving the bed. Sometimes if I just move the bed to the other side of this room, that's enough to get me away from the mobs that are stopping me from sleeping. So if we just pop the bed down there. Nope, there are too many monsters nearby. There must be something up in the roof or something. See, this is where the train system would be handy because we have got other beds, but they're not really close by. So the other bed that we've got that we can go and sleep in is in the mine. But now you can see that that area is filling up with a few mobs. We're going to make it over to the mine and try and sleep in that bed. There's loads of them under those trees over there pestering my bees but how much easier would this be if we could just jump on a train and we could be riding the train along here but you can see this is why it needs to be up in the air because we have all these mobs so we want it high enough so that we're not going to be pestered by them they're not going to be able to climb up onto it because we don't want them climbing up and joining us that would be disastrous can we sleep down here we can excellent so we want to be able to do that by train that's the idea and i guess long term we make it so we have a more elegant way in and out of the mine as well that could possibly be linked up to another track of the transport system we could have the mine that we're going to build as part of this the, sorry the line that we're going to build as part of this initial wave would be the one that's for the um for the nether portal that's here and we could then probably at some point get really fancy and have a line that we can get on at the at the base and it actually comes down underground and brings us down to to diamond level where the bed and everything down there is in the strip mines that would be really cool but the first step for all of that is making sure that we actually have the initial system set up so that's what we're going to be doing now we're going to set up the station stop moving and get away from my bees you monster oh good there's loads of you of course there is 
course there's gonna see this is this, this we've got to light this up at some point this whole area needs to be lit up because there's so many mobs here every time i come out this way the spider gonna get some of course he is right i think that's dealt with everybody who was causing this hassle let's get building so raised platform trying to keep the the sort of design the style in line with everything else we've got around here i think we need to be using the oak wood the oak planks the cobblestone we've got some cobblestone bricks on there as well that we've used but i'm thinking how high do we need to get what could we what we don't actually have any cobblestone to hand i think i was just cooking off a few cobblestone bricks as well so we could have some cracked bricks just so we've got a little bit of variety in the blocks that could be rather pleasant and we'll take a little bit of just ordinary cobblestone as well so i am thinking we want to be if we're putting it like here this feels about the right spot so not necessarily fully into that area maybe we can use i'm thinking stripped dark oak Is that gonna i think once you strip it it doesn't look a million miles away color wise from what we've got over there but he's different enough because i want to I don't want to be stuck building in the same palette forever. At the same time, I don't want stuff to look completely out of place. So maybe as it heads over towards that way, it becomes more miney and industrial. And this could be the first step towards that. Whereas this area here needs to be stuck in this style. So see, what are you talking about being stuck? So if we go, we need to go four blocks up, I think, to make sure that we're not going to have any grumpy old mobs climbing up there so if we go can we come up here so if we go four blocks high and put a platform on top of that make sure we're stripping this and then we use this, the bricks to fill in yeah so that can be like the center of it and if you go one two three four five six so in fact how many lines are we going to have so we could have the lines starting next to each other if we have line one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then put the other column here, go up four, and then strip that off, and then platform on top. So we then need to go out maybe, I don't want this to be completely square, but if we go one, two, three, four, five, and then we have to go up five. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that in line with that. And strip it off. And then, like in here, is that the block here? No, it's that one, isn't it? So one, two, two, three, four, five, six. We've we gone up too far. We can fix that if we have. And then strip that off as well so the fact we're building over multiple la levels i think that's pretty cool that lineup it does and um, rather than just being built on flat ground i think it's quite cool the fact that we've built it into the hole like that um, and then we can fill this in with bricks now the question is do we want to be able to get into this as a building i'm not sure what could we use it as what i mean what we could potentially have rather than a staircase on the outside that mobs could maybe get up we could have a door on the front and then something inside that allows us to go up through the inside. So even if it's just something as simple as a ladder on the inside, so we have to go through a door, which the mobs aren't then going to be able to get through, to then go up into maybe like a gap in the center of the platform. And that's then going to stop the mobs from getting up there. That is probably what we're going to do. And when I say probably, I think that's definitely what we're going to do. So we can get a little bit of a door situation there in the middle. I'm thinking probably an iron door I want to get some of these cracked blocks in as well just to break this up a little bit give us a little bit of variety in fact we probably want to put a window do we want a window on the front i think we probably do want a window on the front so actually we're gonna take some of this out in a second put that along there and then do we want i think we probably want wood along there again can we get that in do, do, no, come on, do, 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 get that in, 
Oh, dear me. Right. Get that there. Get that there. And then we're just going to take a couple of window holes. And then also just take a couple of bits out for some of this cracked cobblestone brick as well, especially on the front. This is the side we're going to see this from most often. There we go. I think, I think that works. I think we need to strip that. I think that works and then it has a platform on top that probably overhangs slightly right let's get the let's get the platform on top of it and i think that's probably going to be anks similar to what we've got as the roof to all of these other bits and pieces so if we just get up onto that level we'll fill the rest of these walls and things in i'll do that all off camera um but for now is that not been stripped has been stripped the color's so different between the two parts right just gonna fill the rest of this in and then we're gonna get a platform on top because the main event of course is the train line itself not this weird rectangular building that i'm building to put on top of it so i'll get this built and then we'll be back and i'll show you what we've got and we'll start setting up the train line right building is complete i've just dumped off the supplies that i was using to build it picked up the rail supplies again i mean it's nothing special it's just a little rectangular building that is here to serve a purpose rather than look pretty. We might find a way to pretty it up at some point. But I think as the as the whole base area begins to grow, this is just going to get more and more kind of just part of one of many builds that are around here. And you're not going to notice it as much. But we've got the, got the iron door with a button up there to stop the baddies getting in. A little bit of light and some carpet in there to try and minimise any baddies spawning within and that's our way up onto this platform so what i'm thinking is we're gonna have one line coming off from this side to head over there and one from this side to head over there so if we start things off with a solid block that we can just use as our starting point um, and then stick a button on top of these solid blocks oh or play a note Ugh, those buttons probably need to be darker um, but they, they are now what we can use to start and stop our track. We then need to put in some powered rails, which I've realized I don't have a way to power. Um, three, we'll give it four. We want to get some good speed up early on, which is why we've given ourselves plenty of room on here. Um, and then we can just move on to the, uh, to the normal rail. And then every, I don't know, every 20 or so, 20, 25 rails, as long as we're not going up. We then make a powered one to make sure we maintain top speed all the way. I need some levers or something to... Uh, it's occurred to me, I'm not going to have a way to hide them because we've made it so we can go into the building below, which I've also lined up those torches nicely with the windows. Oh, I'm just a design hero. On one hand, you get the terrible decisions like not being able to hide these levers. Have we got any levers made? I don't know that we have actually um let's just grab some sticks we've got some cobblestone to make we're gonna need a load of these 20 levers that should get the job done so we're gonna have to have lots of powered rail um yeah i don't know how we're gonna hide these the sun is already getting ready to set again it's always night time in this world um right is there any way we can hide this i don't think there is we're just gonna have to except it's going to be there unless no i was thinking of lowering the ceiling inside but that's just a bit rubbish i think what it does mean is we're not going to fit as many rails on as i've thought although i think if we put two rails next to each other and have more powered rail over here i think that lever powers that one too we could then have two another lever in the middle and then two so we have got room one of a four assuming they work that way which i hope they do right rather than um rather than building them both on camera i think i'll build the shorter one of the two on camera so i can show you how we're going to do it and then worry about the the longer one off camera so it's just going to be a case of extending this out 
we are going to put some supports under this so it doesn't look like it's just floating and obviously it could just float in minecraft world we don't want it to look like that because it's a bit rubbish looking um do we want to sort of zigzag across i think we probably do i think it would look better if it zigzags rather than rather than just heading out as far as it can go in one way and then heading back again and we can go a bit more this way though if we bring this sort of to where the sheep are maybe because we're trying to get over this way plus there's that hole to navigate we don't want to have to put support in over the hole but at the same time we don't want this to be in the way of our trees that we like to use and then keep it coming out this way a bit if it ever gets too close to the floor and by too close i'm thinking like within four blocks or so of the floor i think four blocks should be enough clearance that if we have a creeper explosion it's not going to affect the line which is what i'm thinking about so actually i'm looking at that here and it needs to go up there doesn't it oh right let me get this wooden bit in and then we'll start laying the track all right we've got the little bridge for the track in we haven't built anything at this end yet we'll worry about that at some point um but this is where the uh the train that gets us to the mines and the never will run we had to raise it up a little bit over there because the land over this way is a little bit higher than it is over near the house but by and large it is all in so the next job is to get the track on and then get some support beams and a little mini station for the other end and then this track is done so let's one two three four five six let's face the right way seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17. In fact, we've got to go up here. So let's put a couple of powered rails in here. Just to make sure that we can get up this slope. Will two be enough? I hope two will be enough. Two might be enough. Let's get a, um, a lever over there as well to power them. Why can't I click the what am i why can't i flick the switch um that's weird i think it's because i was stood on the track maybe i didn't want me to do it weird so let's try that again and in fact i might just get a mine cart and just see if that has enough of to get it up there while we're doing it Got some minecarts that we've salvaged at some point maybe we have them um i don't know if nine gold is enough actually for a minecart mine uh it is we did have some and i've just remembered we used them in the sugarcane farm or used it in the sugarcane farm should probably eat as well lovely 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 and let's it sounds like there's a zombie in there which is alarming to say the least so whoa why do i need to put that next to the switch so we i mean i've lost that now well it doesn't look like it went up but it might do with me on it maybe i have to put this next to that but we leave that off don't we and then use that to, we don't need that there at all we can just temporarily power it with that. I remember how these work now. Right. No, no, no. I wanted to send you back to the start without doing that and knocking you off the side. I think we just about held on. Right. So let's try this again. Get in. Press that. Will this get me up here? It will. Beautiful. Okay. So that was the only questionable bit, really. So we start again from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. In fact, should we put... I'm probably being pretty conservative doing this every 20. I don't think you need to do it this often. I don't want to lose any speed at all. 
There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Stick another one in. It's already nearly night time again. How does this keep happening? Right, are we going to be able to get on this quickly enough? Oh, I want to ride it back. I want to ride it back. Can we? No, I want to ride it back. Well, not riding it back, are we? Unless. Come on, get some speed going. We haven't hit a powered rail yet. This is painfully slow. This is why you need... Once we hit that first powered rail, we'll, we'll fly. Here we go. This is the kind of speed we're going to be keeping up the whole time. And then... It stops because it's not powered. So maybe... Hmm. I want it to run all the way to the end. Maybe we only need... We take that one out. Put that in there. And then put another powered one in there. And then we can put a lever there. That doesn't power that one. That should work exactly the way I want it to work. And there's so many mobs outside my house. There's absolutely no chance at all I'm going to be allowed to sleep. Ah! Oi, jerks. Where are you? Oh, no, there's a creeper down there. I do not want a creeper blowing up on my house. Right, cut to morning, cut to morning. Right, it is the morning. I think this must provide just enough light, just enough darkness, for mobs to be able to stay alive in the shadow of it, which is weird, because that's not how light works. But that skeleton was clearly sheltering under it and not dying, even though it's the middle of the day. So that's probably something I'm going to need to figure out how to deal with. Because the whole point was to avoid having to run in with mobs, as well as travelling quicker. We want to avoid the mobs. We don't want to give them a little hidey place. We'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Right. So, we got this far. Stick the rest of this track in. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Stick another. No, that's not a powered line. There's another one. What's he up to? He's shouting under the trees. That's a little bit different. A lot of skeletons around, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. Now, there was that skeleton around here. We don't want to get too close to him. He'll shoot me and knock me off here again. 1, 2, 3, 4... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is potentially going to be the last powered rail we need. Maybe not. Maybe we'll need to squeeze in one more. Go on. There we go. Then one, two, three, four. We are running out of rail. We might not actually be able to do both of these today. 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more mining. And when I say a little bit, I mean an enormous amount. The, I have completely underestimated how far this distance was and how much track we'd need. I don't think we're linking up to the village today. But at least we've got this one in as a proof of concept. And then I can do the village one off camera after a little bit of mining. And at least we know the idea works. Right, pop that on there. And then, fingers crossed, we should head all the way back without slowing down. I don't know, did we slow down a little bit there? Or was that just a little bit of lag? I think it was just a little bit of lag. And then we should stop at the end now. Oh, beautiful. And does it work the other way too? It should do. I don't know why it wouldn't work the other way as well. <laughs> and then the only other things we're going to need to do is three more jobs. We need to build a little mini station at this end rather than just a pile of cobblestone like we've got at the moment. 
I want to put some kind of railing along the side of it so we don't fall off. And we need to put some support so it doesn't look weird like it's just kind of balancing. Now, um, supports wise, I'm just going to put the supports under where the levers are. That keeps them evenly spaced. They're all about 20 apart and also gives us a way to hide the levers. And then for the side bits, fences, probably. So let's what we're going to make the supports out of. Probably cobblestone. Maybe. Ah! Ah! Didn't mean to do that. Maybe we'll actually use the cobblestone bricks that we used before. I haven't built this little entrance way big enough. Um, we're going to ride this back and gather some materials and then figure out how we're going to do this. So, pop that on there. I'm off to gather some materials. Um, what have I done? Why is it not working now? No idea. Right. Materials. Okay, so if we're keeping the supports underneath where the levers are, that means the first one needs to go here. I wonder, can we put the lever underneath? I think we can put the lever underneath and it will still work. And then use some oak planks. And then some of these. And then to completely steal an idea from a video that I watched, which as usual, it was a Wattles one, and trapdoors can then be used to cover up the lever, which I think is really cool. So let's go and grab some trapdoors. Uh, we should really have a crafting table out and about. But we want some oak trapdoors. Yeah, it rotates around to the right ones, which is those ones. There we go. And then if we put these on just right, it will look cool and you won't be able to see the levers. We kind of need to put it on. Not there. Aha. <laughs> what we want. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Certainly gets the job done. We just do that all the way along wherever we've got any levers. I am running super low on all materials, cobblestone, wood. I need to do a serious mining and deforesting trip. So I don't think I'm going to get everything finished in this video. You can see that we've got a lot of those barriers in. And then the last thing I want to do is get fences in but again we don't have the wood to be able to do it actually rather than taking that out there we might take it out from underneath i've ruined my axe as well so i don't have an axe currently so i'm using a pickaxe for wood like an absolute monster um but i'm thinking if we do this all the way along just again adds to the whole aesthetic it's actually a railway I haven't got any more fences though for now. I think you get the idea. I think if we do that all the way along, it will look pretty cool. I promise I'll show you the finished version of it in the next video. We'll at the very least get this one that goes across to the to the nether portal finished. I don't think we're going to be able to gather the resources to be able to get the one to the trading village. We might be able to, and as soon as I can, I'll put that one in as well. But I think you know i've shown you how it's going to look in the video we just haven't been able to finish it because i completely underestimated the size of the project like an absolute maniac but if you want to see a, a finished proof of concept there's one on my twitch channel um catch me over there streaming i stream two or three nights a week over there playing minecraft at the moment and i do have a finished monorail pretty much of this design that i use over there so you can come and check it out over there You'll see it completely finished if you really, really can't wait. 
But for that, I think we will wrap this video up there. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for loads more Minecraft content. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see me build next, because we are building quite the settlement now, and I am really enjoying the building episodes. Um, so let me know what you'd want to see next. And thank you very much for watching.